Okay, Beano Black here, folks. And I think you get my voice in the background as I move to basically, you know, and like I show, and the one thing I want to show you is make sure that you always bring down this show more, show less, because I'll always add, if someone asks a question, I don't have time. There's tons of emails I get, folks. And so what I'm going to do, people, and yes, I, I listen to people's uh, wants and whatever, just watch the videos. Don't worry about telling me what to say. I will never be controlled. Okay. So the idea that you are going to see facts and data. Okay. So always try to show the show more button so that the idea that you will get whatever's new information needs to be known. Okay. So I got a glitch today. I'm starting a video and basically this is the beginning of it right here. And now I'm going to pull up the movie that I was wanting to play. Okay. So... I'm going to turn the volume down on that, and I don't know if that will control it and keep the volume down on what I was saying in the recording on that one, but let's, I'm bringing the movie up, and I'll blow it up full bore, and we should be recording here, and I'll hit play, and check that wave, folks, that's in space, now, there's this virus, they don't like what I'm going to be showing you, which is basically the truth, okay, now, you can see that there, that the idea that you need to go and look at my other video and see the idea that when they are videoing this is the idea uh, that's not a satellite folks don't let them try to brainwash you that anything that's humongous like that now is that Ellenin is it Honda is that because it looks exactly like the humongous brick that we are seeing up by the Sun okay and the Sun is to the left here okay ie NASA even blows it in and tells you because the idea that if you watch the video I opened with, the idea that you look are supposed to look for the three veins, and the three veins are over here where my cursor's at on this side. This is the video that we're playing. And that massive weather that you can see coming across space, and space is humongous. That's almost infinite space there that you're seeing and all the stars and everything. Okay? That action is coming out of the supergiants. The sun is here. Okay? And the idea that Earth could be just about anywhere because this is a stereo behind, I believe, shot. Yeah, it should sure the hell be behind, way the hell behind. And we'll show you the positions of stereo A and B and the idea that they can be, they are way the hell out in space, folks, okay? So there is an object in the first video that I started playing. You have to go back and watch it, but they gave me the glitch. They didn't want me to show you this. The idea that is that Ellen, is it Honda, or is it Vesta, or which one is it? And also the idea that the idea where we are at in whatever, if there's more than one Big Bang or Big Bang in space, in time, we are damn well at some window, okay? Because the idea that big ass brick that you see going across this movie right here, okay, you can't miss it right there. And maybe I can back up and keep the video just playing. And that space weather that you're seeing coming across is massive, almost infinite, and it will be infinite in space because it's going to travel throughout all the universes, all the galaxies, sometime in space. Okay, now that is all coming from the supergiants, folks. That's heat and electrical magna coming from the supergiants. Now, is that what is spiking the sun, which we know the sun is over here because all the comets are going towards the sun, okay? Is the supergiants behind the sun here to the left is my cursor, or is the supergiants to the right like I am believing because all that energy and electrical magna is going space and coming towards the sun and towards us? Or do we have something deep and dark in another set of suns that are even more humongous than the supergiants somewhere in space, okay? So it makes damn well deduction-wise that the idea that all this to the right is the supergiants. And basically, if anybody goes to my first video I put up, I got so pissed at the idea of people were not realizing that the supergiants are out there and that big-ass burst were not coming from the damn sun, i.e. this again, okay? The sun is centered in our Milky Way galaxy, but it's in the supergiants, okay? I.e., this is video how old. So you can go and research how this video is and also the disclaimer that they have up there and find out exactly when they gave us the dates and they showed us the roadmap of showing us the three asteroid belts, okay? Right in line with each other going through space. And they're supposed to be in this video that I keep pulling, dragging back and forth, okay? Because otherwise it'll blink to play, okay? So you watch this massive in space weather action coming by 
and then realize the idea that they actually tell us look for the three veins zoom in and you will see the three veins of the sun basically shooting off over here where my cursor keeps going up and down you will see three veins of in video if you go to the one that got cut off short and glitched before this they didn't want you to see this because there is all that damn ass space weather and basically what the comet dude or one of my uh i forgive you all everybody's names and stuff out there but the idea that i think well yeah bp i think okay bp showed this massive shot of the idea that something was just massive coming across and it's like holy crap right well this is electrical magna or Folks, are we just a weather vane over top of one of the biggest objects in all of universe and is all of our universe and stuff something? But it sure just looks like electrical wave and ocean like wave that you're going to get in space, right? Because all the astronauts practice in uh, high pressure underwater activity because the idea that that's what the elements are in space, correct? That should be correct, okay? So this is a massive ass object going through space and is that common element? Okay, or is Honda or Vesta way bigger than even Common Allen and everything like that? And we've always been, but the idea that if you look at the box at their graph at my video that I started on in, the graph in the box is way bigger on Common and Allen. In. And when Common Allen, in, I can't find the green footage of Soho turning around to look at Common Allen and starting to come through the super giants. Okay, that's how damn far back that Soho camera either A or behind is. And I think it'd be, yeah, it would be B behind. Okay. That's how damn far behind the sun that that satellite is. And it has to stay out and away from all the supergiant stuff to be able to have a clear path. NASA has put Soho B behind the sun in a clear path somehow through all the supergiant stuff. They found a, a keyhole. Otherwise, it would get wiped out by all the massive stuff that's in the supergiants. So they turn around and get a look at the supergiants. We know by all the data that, see, they don't like this information. There that virus comes up. They do not like us figuring what NASA knows on all this stuff in space, folks. So the idea that Sohobi is way out behind the sun, okay, in the super giants, and then we get A-head is way behind Earth and so forth and get shots. So every once in a while, you should be able to pick out Earth in a Soho shot unless Soho is in front of the Earth. So let's go to the map real fast of where these satellites are in space. And remember to go to, and I'll give you the address for that too. And you can always go look at that. And then you have a very good idea of the angles and everything that you're looking at. And all these shots that we get from Soho out in space it saves time. But you can also go to, there is a NASA player that you can go in and look up all kinds of plants, just like you can do uh, worldwide telescope and so forth. So on. what's cool about it is you can go find satellites that NASA will tell you about. You're not going to find our spy satellites, but you will find uh a lot of our satellites and world conglomerate satellites that are doing space and yes usually folks if it's a scientific space kind of like satellite it's doing some spying military at some time whenever somebody needs it okay i ego usa we are the biggest baddest dogs in the world and yes we love our uk friends and all of our friends in this world we need to be in a casino right now sitting on the goddamn moon having a cocktail joking around for christ's sakes we quit killing each other all the time so anyway space weather here folks massive Space is massive. Look at those th th four gonads right there in space. Holy crap, folks. So anyway, let's go to some uh, pictures. So basically, I see how big that they look at the path Allen, okay? So it's supposed to be hella big. And then Honda is smaller. But the idea, how big are they actually? Because the idea that when they are showing that, and then the player locks up. But anyway, the idea that they all look like they have some kind of a... Uh, rotational around them like a steam engine the original steam engine has its little flop around okay that shows you that that steam turbine is going and it's just like these objects in space and they have a bunch of stuff twirling around them i.e honda all these comets that we end up getting told about and we, when we find out they're a comet in front of an asteroid belt or they're part of an asteroid belt and all these are three path of allen and honda and the idea that vesta is below this they're all in alignment and remember, the sun's over here and all that energy's over here coming from the right, okay? And the sun and the Honda, Ellen and all this stuff is up in the supergiants. And yes, it's a long ways away, but we got stuff bleeding down from the sun towards Earth, i.e. the baby blue Kachina or brown dwarf star. Yeah, it's hot. It's blue. It's that damn hot. How hot is it? We know uh, Rigel Cantaris B is 5,000 K, okay? So the idea that that damn blue planet, whether it's dying out, and the idea th that uh, Rigel Cantaris B does not rise, does not have a rise and set. The Earth rotates to Rigel Cantaris B. 
let's go ahead as I'm babbling here and bring up and show you the constellation of Libra that is around the sun currently today, 1115, okay? So the idea that when you go, and we're going to look at the Soho real fast, let me say, okay, so that's that constellation there. So that what we'll see on these deals will be, this is Rigel. I've seen Rigel enough, I'm pretty damn sure, and if I'm wrong on it, big ass deal, it doesn't really matter. We know that this is a uh, lioness, and I've gotten used to looking at it. It looks like a swan sitting on the ground, but they call it over all these infinite time, almost, it seems, of Earth, that the idea that the astronomers call it Leononis. Okay, then Mars is over there. Saturn's there. This is current uh, 11.57 a.m. Central Standard Time. And there you got the Sun, Saturn, <coughs> Mercury, and Venus are over here. Venus is the biggest and the idea that you should be able to even outside right now be able to see the moon way up in the west still currently and then you have all these constellations and if you get used to knowing the constellations that's just hunky dory folks i learn them a little bit at a time okay here we go okay what i did folks is i blew up uh soho ahead and uh b <clears throat> and we're sitting right in the we'll look over because most all the action is over on b so the idea that this is more than likely the constellation that we see that's around the sun because that's ahead okay we imagine that we are sitting as the sun looking front and back because the idea ahead is ahead of the sun and we'll show you the direction of what these are looking at right now and then you can go to soho and take a look at these and understand where stuff is at and the idea that i am presuming and assuming just guessing that the idea the biggest thing that we see here should be always be jupiter when we see stuff okay but then the idea we have this up here so that could be jupiter the idea the sun is very i mean earth is very goddamn small okay the, the, you always see the flare that should be the sun or that, unless we get confused with the supergiants, okay? But basically, we know that Stereo Head and everything like that is always looking at the sun. Now the sun is in the supergiants, okay? So that might be Rigel Cantaris B that we see out in front of the sun, but the idea that that's supposed to be 77% of the size of the sun. So how goddamn far ahead is Rigel Cantaris B from the sun to us, okay? Because the idea that when I go research in Rigel Cantaris B, I get a really goofy-ass direction of how far... Uh, they are sticking with the idea of old school of the direction of one IU is always the idea. And then I give you the recent, I, so I can always give you the idea of where the sun is at, how far away the sun is from Earth, okay? So the idea that I'm um, just up and down, so you can go to this Soho. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the idea. Now this would be the idea, you blow it up to 4% and then you get an idea, okay, I'm in the middle of the sun right here when you're standing there, okay? Then you look around and you'll see the map of, this now when you're looking at the map the idea you got to lay yourself on the earth and the idea that you're looking up at the sun so the idea that but now you have to pay attention of the angles of where uh, soho a and b are at okay but when you are looking at this constellation map you lay yourself on the ground if you were looking up you would be seeing the sun that constellation like that this would be your right hand, which basically that's East Coast. But then, then you always need to differentiate and you know yourself. When you're standing on the ground, you know where East is, okay? Sun comes up in the East, and the sun goes down in the West. I mean, come on, you know. But I'm just be, so the idea that when you're looking at the constellation thing, that you're looking up at it, and then the idea that the sun is very southernly in our fall and winter solstice, okay? And that should be Rigel, okay? So we should see some damn-ass good footages later in the day or tomorrow from the footage today of the sun because we do know that the idea that, and then right now, yeah, over Libra, they have it, okay? So, and that should be Libra there that we showed you on the constellation map. Okay, saving time here. Okay, so when you imagine or you put yourself in between those two shots, if they keep doing that for us good enough, you'll know that the idea that B behind is always B behind and A is ahead, and the idea that you're sitting there in between those two shots, and the idea that Venus and Mercury will be in that kind of a shot from directly to the center of the shot that they see on B. Okay, so basically Venus and Mercury should be the two big, brightest things that we see on that shot. Let's go to that real fast. Okay, and that's A. So the idea that there's the address, and I will try to put these links in the video so that in the future you know how to read these. Okay, so the idea that your constellation would show up in both shots more than likely uh, constellations and then so the Rigel stuff should be here also so the idea that these are probably three or four of the biggest things in Rigel and it kind of does look like the bow there as you look at like that coming down so that's more than likely one of the biggest stars in Rigel right there okay <coughs> that is somewhere in the in the vicinity of the positioning with uh, Venus and Mercury right now okay Mercury would be one of these, okay? 
And that also could be part of Rigel, so you have to try to differentiate this stuff. So I'm going to give you a legal disclaimer, and that's how you read this stuff. IE today, Rigel Cantera Speed is not Rigel. Legal disclaimer.